Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to be using large book page pictures. But first, let's have a shout out to Kimberly, Judith, Carol, Linda, Rustic Journals, Deb, and Alicia. I appreciate each and every one of you. So this is what we're going to make today. This is a very large botanical picture. It's a picture of lilacs. Oh, I just think that's so pretty. And I have incorporated it on the cover of my trifold. I have a little heart closure with some baker's twine here that just wraps around. There's a label, there's some bling. There's a little bit of that tissue paper that we used a couple of videos ago. There's some black lace, open it up right here. And there's a nice little pocket with the tag. That, and that just pops right in there. Then we open it up further and we have a side tuck right here that has a nice large journaling card. Or actually it's just a journaling page that you can journal on. And then there is a flip book with a net cover over the top of it, the front of it, and just some pages here with the line notebook coffee dyed papers. So yummy, right? So let's let's make one. So I'm just going to leave it. I don't think I'm going to tie it back up. We might need to refer to it again. So what kind of pages are we talking about? Well, I've got some botanical pages here. Now these, these right here, approximately oh, five and a half by six. There's this beautiful one right here. And this one is a little over seven by seven. And then there's a picture of a vase right here. This vase is a little over seven by nine. So it depends. You can use different size pictures. We are going to be cutting these down just a little bit to fit on the front of our trifold. So let's bring in a piece of coffee dyed copy paper. And what we want to do is we want to fold one side over three inches. So let's just do that right here. So it's three inches folded over. And then let's fold this side over till it just has, it's just about a fourth of an inch from the, from the edge here. It's about a fourth of an inch. And give that a good crease. So we've got our trifold and the shorter piece goes is going to be going in front. Now I went ahead and I cut some pink music paper. I dyed it pink and I thought that we could use this right here where we use the the tissue paper, that gold tissue paper that we were putting wax on it was making it clear. Well I just added a little bit right here top and bottom. So instead of just using that again I thought we could use maybe something like some music paper just for something a little different. Just to show you that you don't have to use a tissue paper you can use what you have. So I'm going to bring in my scissors. I'm going to reach over here and grab them and I'm just going to trim this off right here. And I'm going to glue this piece on right here, right on this part of the trifold, this three inch. And this right here is approximately two inches. So I'm going to add my glue right onto my music page right here. I don't I didn't measure to see how far I need to add this glue, but we can always wipe it off or add more if I need to. And I'm just going to pop it right on here, just like this. And glue that down right like that. Yeah, we put a little bit too much. That's okay. I'll dig around in here and get a piece of paper. And we'll just wipe it off. Alrighty, so now let's trim this. Just like that. Okay. Then... That's going to look just like that. Now I want it to go on this side as well. Now I don't know if this is big enough. Well, it actually is. But it shows like that. I think I want to use a piece that's going to have music 
all the way across. So I'm going to trim this border off right here. And then I'm going to add my glue. Now how, how wide is that fold right there? It's about three and three fourths inches. So I'm just going to go like this just to kind of help me see when to stop with my glue. And I'm just going to glue this on to the inside of that fold. So that when we close our trifold, it's going to look like it's going to continue on our music. And I'm just going to trim this as well. Now I want to do the exact same thing to the top. So I do think I'm going to look to see here. Do I want to use? I think I want to use this one. I, I love the beginning of the music, the stanza. I think that's so beautiful. So I'm going to use that part and I'm just kind of eyeballing where I need to stop with my glue. There we are. And then glue the edges of our music and a little bit on the inside. And then we're just simply, now make sure you're right side up if that matters to you. It, it kind of does sometimes to me. If I have a choice with music, I'll try to put it right side up. Alrighty, so got that on there. Now we're going to just trim this off just like that. And then once again, so this is the front cover. We open it up like this. I want to put some right up here at the top. So let's go ahead, and that looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and glue that on as well. I just moved the music out of the way so we have a little extra room. Just eyeballing where I need to start and stop with my glue here and getting this glue on my paper. Alrighty. Now simply laying it on my Let's see, which way can I turn it so I can see what I'm doing here? Oh, did I go down far enough? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, that's very good. Now, let's give that a trim. I pop this extra glue that I've got going on here. Let's trim this off just like this. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to cover up this part right here. Now this is going to depend on what picture I end up using. If I use this picture, um, let me get my pieces in here. Oh goodness, where are they? Here they are. Sorry guys, it's under a stack over here. So if I use that one, I could use maybe something like that. I mean, that's okay, but it's not really doing it for me. Or I could use this one. That's kind of pretty. Or I could use this. I really like that. All right, now let's see. If we use this picture, and of course I would take the center out right here. I wouldn't use this part, I'd use this part. But let's look at that. So we've got this, it's okay. We've got this, ooh, that's really, really pretty right there. Oh, we've got this, that's okay. So I like this one with this one. And then let's bring in our vase. Now I would use the part of the vase that had the birdie on it. And we've got this, which, yeah, I think this part of that might look really nice with it or possibly just this part because I think these flowers look real well. They kind of resemble those flowers. Or there's this. It's okay. And there's this one. That's okay too. I'm drawn to the, the first one, that first picture. What happened to it? Here. I'm really drawn to this picture. And I think I'd like to use it with this right here. All right, with that said, what I want to do is I'm going to 
bring in my guillotine, but first I am going to mark, where do I want this? I think I want to mark this. I'm going to line this up, see if I can get this lined up. I'm lining it on a grid mark. There we are. And let's just mark it right, move it over just a little bit, maybe about right here. Maybe about right here, just right above this word, whatever that word is. And I think it needs to go above here, maybe about right here. And maybe about right here. I don't know if that's um, straight or not where I marked it. So I'm going to line this up and say, no, it's not straight. So I'm going to make it straight. First line it up, see if it's straight. No, not at all. So let's mark it on this line. I want to make a straight cut, guys. I don't want to make a crooked cut. That would be not good because that would show up. And then here, let's do one right here on this grid mark and then move this one down just a little bit. Okay, now let's bring in our guillotine. And let's just cut this straight across, lining our little marks up. There's our first cut. And here is our second cut. All right. And then bringing our trifold back in. This is our front cover. And this is where we're going to pop in our paper like that so it'll look just like that and you could bring it all the way around if you wanted to what did i do here no nope, i just trimmed it off so i probably will trim it off from this one as well so since i'm going to be inking this i am going to ink it before i put it on my paper and I'm going to mark, I'm going to erase, I mean, my marks. Okay, that one didn't show up. So I'm just going to get a little bit of ink on here and I'm just going to rub it on just to get a little bit on here. We can do the all the way around the edge in a moment, but this is right here and here so I have to do it before I glue it down or I won't be able to do it well I could but it might be kind of messy so I'm just lining my trifold up I'm going to glue this on <clears throat> I'm going to take it only to where it creases where it folds just like this I'm going to fill in just a little bit There we go. Now I'm going to turn this over. I'm simply going to glue it down. And I think I want it to glue maybe something like this. I'm going to take it down just a little bit further if I can. It hasn't attached itself yet. There we go. Just rub it on. Okay, now I'm going to fold it, and this is where I'm just going to wipe it so if there's any glue, it gets wiped off, and I'm going to just trim it. Okay, so we've got that part on. Now, let's talk about our picture. Here's our picture we're going to use. I really think it looks quite pretty just the way it is just like that and we're going to wrap it around just like this so it's going to have the other flower in the back i am going to take this to the machine and i am simply going to sew around the four sides and then we'll continue all right before i sew i mean before i glue my sewed piece on i'm going to take my trifold here and I'm going to round my corners and then I'm going to take it over to my machine and I'm going to sew all the way around the edges 
and I'm going to ink it up. So I'm going to do that part off camera. Alright, so I have it sewn around the edge and I have inked around the edges and the folds as well. You do not have to ink or sew to make this project. I just love to do both. So let's take our large image and let's simply glue it right on the front. I'm going to open it up so that I can allow it to glue flat and then I can fold it after it has dried. So I'm just lining it up here the best I can and then I'm going to apply my glue to the back of my book page. So just adding my glue to the back just like this and I'm going to fill in the center just a little bit. There we go. <coughs> then adding it to the front and then of course it will be on the back. It will, will fold around the back but we're going to add it this way. It will just help it not get wonky as I like to say. I don't want it to be wonky and it will get a funny little bump right there, <clears throat> right here. If you glue it and wrap it around as opposed to gluing it flat and letting it dry. And then after this dries, when we fold it right here on this fold line that we have, it won't get that bump right here. It'll just, let me see if I can show you what I mean. See, it'll just fold out. It does not have a bump. That's what, that's what I mean by that. All right. So let me give this just a second to dry and then we'll continue. All right, so we've got the front and we've got our picture all glued on. Now let's think about the inside. Let's grab some of our book pages and let's simply add our book pages inside. So I would like to, I think I'm going to trim this off and take that one border off. Is there one side that I like better than the other? No, I want to stick with this smaller border right here. So let's trim it off here. And then I'm going to trim one more off of a different page, the small border, one that's not real large. I'm going to put this one going this way and this one going this way. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my glue directly onto my trifold. Right like this. And I'm just going to fill in the inside. So we started with coffee dyed coffee paper, but we are really making it sturdy by adding lots of different layers on here. We added some papers in the front. We added the picture and now we're adding book page. So we're really making it firmer. So I'm trimming this out. I haven't folded it yet. I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, we're fixing to fold it. Just a minute. As soon as we get our book pages on, and I'm putting these book pages in sections for the simple fact that it's not going to buckle on us. If we put them in sections, <clears throat> this is where this is going to fold. I'm going to fold this right over, just like that. Very nice. Oh, very nice indeed. Oh, lovely. It's not going to buckle at all. And we cut this one so it can go right here. So let's do the exact same thing. Grabbing our glue. I'm using my art glitter glue. You use the glue of your choice. Everybody has their favorite glue. So you add whatever glue you like. And we're going to get this book page glued onto what I'm going to call the inside flap of our trifle. I'm just going to lay it down like 
this. I'm just kind of judging where the, the border is on the top. Folding it over. Yeah, it fits nicely on there. Then we must trim this one out as well. Did I get it enough glue on the edge? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping I got enough glue on the edge. Oh, I love these colors. It's like a pinky lavender. So beautiful. All right, trimming that out and then trimming this one out as well. Okay, now let's talk about the inside. This inside one is the one that's going to give us this tuck spot right here. This little tuck spot that we have. This is the one that's going to give us that. So what I want to do is I'm going to fold this over because it's just a book page. And I want it to be a little sturdier because we're going to use it as a tuck spot. So I'm going to fold it over half an inch. I didn't do a very good job. It moved on me a little bit. Okay, that's going to have to be just fine. <laughs> I always say when, when things like that happen, I say, it's a junk journal. It'll be fine. Okay, I'm adding my glue onto this little folded over piece right here because that's going to be our tuck spot. This part's going to be our tuck spot. Bringing this back in. And we're going to be gluing this right down here. And we're going to fold this over. So where does this fold occur? This fold occurs at one to four inches. So if we kind of give it an idea at four inches. And I want it to go this way. Yeah, this, I folded it over this way, so I want that to be the inside. I don't want to see where I folded it. So, one, two, three, four. I'm going to crease it. That should fit. Well, take it back. Oh, goodness gracious. I did do it upside down, didn't I? Okay. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Do I really need to... Oh, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that right. I did that right. I just had a moment of, like, freaking out there just for a second. Yeah, you do fold it. <laughs> okay, you do fold it because that gives you the tuck spot because we're going to glue it down. So you do fold it. Okay, you fold over the edge to make it sturdier. That was a half an inch. Then we folded it over one full inch. And that will allow it to fit in here so that it can be folded nicely. Will it fold nicely? I think it's going to crease a little bit right here. Yeah, I think I might want to trim this side. I want it to fit right in this area without, you know, folding over or buckling or anything. So I'm just going to really just take a sliver off. And if it shows some of that coffee dyed paper, then that's okay because it's pretty. Coffee dyed paper is pretty. And we're going to be gluing this right on like this. So that folds in nice and that folds in nice. Okay. All right. So this is our tuck spot. But it, it's not going to go this way. It's going to go this way. So we're gluing all this down like this. And then this is the tuck spot right here. And all it does is hold on our, it's not glued down, it's just glued down right on the ends. And I just happen to stamp on it. So, we must remember, we're not gluing it down here. We're just gluing it down on the ends. We are gluing this part down. So, I'm going to move this out of the way for just a second. What I'm going to do is, this is the fold. I'm going to glue down the fold. I do need to glue that paper down. So I'm gluing down the fold. I'm going to glue the ends like this. I'm going to glue this part. I'm going to go all the way down, just like this, and across. And then I'm going to fill in. 
Okay, now I'm going to bring in my piece. Okay, I'm just looking to make sure I'm right side up. And I'm going to glue this right in here. I'll have to trim off the ends a little bit. That just glues down, I think. I'm going to have to re-glue that because I glued it too, too far up. Mm -hmm. I should have cut my paper to fit before I glued it down. Right, guys? That's okay. It's all right. I can get it done. Might be my extra glue off because I glued on the end, on the edge. It's okay. I filled in, so it's all glued down. So now I just have to trim the ends off. So let's give that a trim right here. Okay, now we have our tuck spot right here. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. It folds right there, and it folds right there. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so the next thing I want to do is let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to put in that folded area. I think I'd like to put a vintage letter. I'm going to fold this vintage letter. I think it's going to work if I fold it in half. And then I fold it up to where I want it to go. Maybe about right here. And then that will fit right inside of our tuck spot. Mm, not quite. It sticks out just a little bit. So I'm going to have to trim some of this part off because it's a little wide. It's not going to take any of our letter off. Just remove a little bit of the border. Let's see if I've removed enough of the border. Oh, I'm going to have to glue that back down. Oh yeah, that's going to fit in there perfectly. I need to glue that back down. Let's just do that. Let's glue this right back down. And I dropped a little bit of glue on there. Okay. Glue that down. That one's glued down fine. Alright, so as I look at this, I need to ink around the edge. Then let's go ahead and we'll do a little bit of stamping here, just like I did a little bit of stamping on this one. We'll put in our little flip book, and we need a pocket down here with the tag. All right, so let's continue. Just let me grab, oh, I'm going to ink. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, so I have inked around the edge of the trifold, and I have inked the vintage letter as well and it will fit right in here in our little side tuck. I also grabbed a scrap piece of cardstock and it is approximately three inches by two inches and it's going to fit right here. We can make a pocket right there out of that. I'm going to grab my corner rounder because I'm going to need to round this corner right here on this end. So let's round that up. And then let's take a notch right out of the middle, just to say I'm a pocket. <laughs> I just like to do that. I think that's really fun. I'm a pocket. Not that you wouldn't know that that's a pocket, but it definitely says I'm a pocket. And since I ink this, I am going to go ahead and ink that area right there. Let's go ahead and let's glue this down. I always like to hold where I I don't want my glue so that I don't accidentally glue where I don't want to. And then we'll just pop it right on here for our little pocket, our little 
tuck spot. We're going to have a little tag go right in there. I think I have some tags here. I've been making some tags for my Etsy shop. And maybe we can find one that really looks nice here. They're just collage. I collaged some paper and I just cut it up, cut them up into tags. I really like this one, but I don't think it's real tall. I guess we will use that one right there. So the next thing I want to do is let's go ahead and stamp this. I'm going to bring in my little stamp. That's the exact same stamp that I used right here. That's this one right here. And does it say what it is? Oh, it does. 19, no, 2016 rubber stamp tapestry. And I have my stays on right here. I'm looking for my little piece that I had to keep me from getting. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and open our stays on. And I'm just going to use this to help me if I need it at the ends. We will start. I think I want to start it this way, inking our stamp up, and then just stamping right here, just like that. Oh, it's so pretty. So very pretty. I love it. Okay. Oh, that fit perfectly. Okay, oh, I need my little plastic sheet in here. Get that on there. Okay, close up our ink pad. The next thing that I want to do is let's make our, our flip, our flip book in the center. That's where our flip book goes, right in the center. Let's see how our flip book is right in the center. So let's go ahead and grab some of that coffee dyed notebook paper and let's fold it in half the long way. So folding it in half the long way. Let's do the same thing here. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in um, maybe a little paper clip or two. I've got all my doors open over here so I can get dig out a paper clip. There we go. Whoopsie. Knocking things over. And I'm going to paper clip this just to hold it in place because I'm going to cut this fold off because we want it to be a flip book. So I'm going to bring my guillotine in and I'm simply, let's look at this real quick. Yeah, I need to cut a little bit of this off anyway to make it fit. So let's just trim it right like this. I'm going to take it over on this side. I'm going to see if I can even this up just a little bit. And those paper clips are just holding it in place so it doesn't move around on me so much. Now, let's bring in our trifold. And let's see. I need to trim it off. It's too long right now. How about if we cut it about right here on this one? I'm going to bring my little small guillotine in, put all the papers in here, line it up, and just trim them off just like that. Save those, pop those down below. I saved again. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners of these while they're still paper clipped together. All right, and since I've been inking this booklet a lot. I'm just simply going to rub a little bit of ink on here just to give it a little color, but there's not much ink on my pad. It's a brand new pad, so it hasn't sucked up very much ink yet. I accidentally stuck my brown, brown sponge in the black stays on. <laughs> Well, that kind of ruined it to be black, uh, to be brown. Now it's black. Okay, so we've got our flip book. Now 
I am going to sew this on the machine. You can glue them individually or you can paper clip, not paper clip them, you can staple them if you like to staple. I'm going to go ahead and sew this top. So I have it all sewn, so they're all sewed together. And now let's just glue this right on. So I'm just going to use my art glitter glue and I'm just going to be generous and glue this top part on and then just place it on just like this. Move it over just a little bit right there. That's a good spot. Now I added some net and I added a label and I added a heart and some black lace because it's going to go nicely with our black stamping. So let's grab our net. That goes on first. So here's our little net. You could use lace, you could use fabric, whatever it is that you have that you'd like to use that will be great. You do not have to use net. This is a different lace, but that might work just fine. Let's go ahead. I'm going to add my hot glue, and I'm using hot glue. I'm looking for my little glue. Ooh. Oh, here it is. Silicone stick. I'm using hot glue because it's quick and it's easy, and it is great doing videos because once you get it on there, it's not going to come undone. And it's it will dry quickly and drying quickly is what I need in a video I need it to be permanent once I glue it down so I can keep going and we can keep decorating all right so that's glued on just like that now I put a label put a label up there let's see maybe um, I don't know for some reason I kind of like that one right there 12. I also have this. Now this came from the book page of the large the large um, book page pictures and on this one I put one right here. I thought well that would be pretty cute if I did another one. I think I might put it over here though because it doesn't really show up until you take the tag out. So I think I'd like to pop this one. It says the language of flowers. I think that's just super cool. So I'd like to place that. It says the exact same thing on the back. I'd like to place it right here. Just for an added little something something. And oh, let's get the the label. These are from by J. Lee Lu. Let's pop this right up here like this. And then I've got some hearts. Now I've got to look to see where these hearts are from. They're brand new to me. We've got this one. No, I don't know which one we're going to use for the front because we're going to need two for the front. So maybe we ought to choose the front ones first. Okay, let's choose the front ones first because I'm going to need two for the front. Okay, so let's get this shut, and well, that one's super cute. That one's super cute, too. Oh, they're all super cute. Okay, I think I want this one. I think I want this one and this one. All right, so back to the, to the inside. And I don't want to misplace those. I'm going to put them over there. I hope I remember. And we're going to pop one of these right down here. So I think I think I want that one. And I'm just going to add it right now. Put it on there. Super cute. We've got our tag right here. Let's pop another one on the tag. Now that one will show up on that tag. So let's do that. Put this right on the tag. 
and then we're going to need to add our trim. Now I think I'm going to stick with this trim that I used whoa, that I used for my example. And I'm just going, I've cut a little bit off. It goes like this. Heaven's sakes. It goes like this. And I've cut the top part off. I just didn't want that much. And I'm going to glue this right on the top there. Just like that. We need to ink this up and add a little bit of sorry silk from Crimson Heart Studios on there. So I'm going to use my hot glue one more time in here. And just place this down. And then Take my little stick and on there, just like that, and trim it off with my little scissors. Okay. Oh, super cute, right? And I noticed that uh, on our example, we took our stamp and I stamped just part just a little bit of this if I can just do a little bit right on here oh yeah that looks great looks great just like that just to bring it tie it all together so we've got it here and here and then we've got the black up here and I'm going to ink this up real quick and I think I want to put I don't know if I want to put a lavender or I have seam binding I said sorry silk um, I think I'm going to use seam binding for this one Let's see. Let's look at our colors. I've got this really pretty lavender. This is from my scrap cabin, but we've got the pink too. It's not pinky pink. Okay, let me look and see if I have one that's more pinky pink, whether it's sorry or seam binding. Let me look. All right, I found some um, sorry silk. And I think that looks beautiful on there. We'll just pop that right in there. Now, let's talk about our closure and maybe just a little bit more decoration on the front to bring it all together. So let's place this really pretty lace right here on the front cover. So I've just trimming off that piece that I was showing you earlier. I've got to trim it down enough to where it's going to be long enough for, yeah, that's going to be long enough. Let's take this out just so it lays a little flatter. I actually want to lay it on the inside. So I want to glue this on the inside. That's probably why I didn't put that language of flowers on that side and the other one. It's okay. It's okay. Let's add a little bit of glue here and let's simply add our lace. Just pressing it down with the, my blue stick and adding a little as we go. I find it's much easier working with hot glue. If you do sections at a time, it dries so very quickly that sometimes you're not able to get it laid down in time and it dries and then people think that hot glue doesn't stick. It's because you're waiting too long to get your item put on the hot glue. Hot glue is not forgiving. It is It dries very quick, quicker than any of the other glues that you're used to working with. So you have to really be ready. That's why I work in smaller sections. All right, so we've got that on there. Oh my goodness, it's coming together, isn't it, guys? 
So let me wipe this off here. And let's get a paper clip and just clip this right here. Let's go ahead and I've got some new bling. I think I showed it to you in my last video. I think I've also got hot glue all over my fingers. It doesn't hurt guys. It just is on my fingers. Okay, so I think I'd like to put some of the bling. I'm going to cut it in half. It's on a plastic backing. I purchased it at the wholesale full shop. I went there this last week and I picked it up. I saw it. It was something new they had. So I picked it up and I'm just looking to see where I'm going to put this. I think I want it right there. And I'm going to use a pen to really, well I thought I was going to use a pen. Well, my finger worked just as well. Get that on there just like that. Then I'm going to put one down here. So let's get this one maybe right here. Get that glued on. Okay. Oh, it's coming together now. One more label, and I think we need to go with a dark one. Maybe number 24. That looks pretty nice. I have another one right here in my dish. Uh, I think it's a little bigger. Number one. It could be a number one. Oh, there's one more. I don't know if there's one more or not. Oh, there's one like that. First, third. I was kind of wanting a smaller one. Yeah, that proportionally I like it much better. So let's go ahead and pop it right down there. Now, now we're ready for our closure. So remember the two hearts that I saved? And they are right here. Let me brush this off so we're not all messed up here. And let's pop our tag back in our pocket because we're going to tie this all up. Once we get done, we're going to tie this all up. Now, we're going to get ourselves some Baker's twine. And I'm going to, let's just say 12 inches. And then I'm going to wrap it around. I'm going to wrap it around a couple times. And then I'm going to meet the other one the other string. I want to have enough. I don't want to not have enough because we're gluing this on. So if it's not enough, we're kind of messed up. Now I'm going to find the middle. The middle, I want to tie a knot first. Let's tie a knot at the end. We can tie another knot if it's too long and we have to cut them shorter. That's not a problem, but I don't want it to fray. So let's tie a knot now. Then let's put these two ends together, the ones with the knot, and find the center. This is our center. We're going to lay it across where we want it to go. So let me find here. Let's put it right here at this dotted line, something like that. And I think, I don't know, did we want this one to be the front? I don't know if we did or not. I'm kind of looking at my flower right here. I don't want to cover my flower up. So I'm kind of jostling my heart so that I'm not going to cover my flower up. But I don't want my closure to be so far down or so far up it looks funny. I want it to be, you know, it's supposed to go right there. But it messes with my flower. So I'm going to actually put it down here. I'm going to lay my string out. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring my string down a little bit. Okay. Now I'm actually going to use hot glue. And I'm only going to glue like half of it. Just half of this little heart. And then I'm going to lay it down. And so you see I've glued that baker's twine 
on to the cover. I'm going to open it up. I don't want it to look like this on this side, so that's what the second one's for. I keep taking this in and out, don't I? I'm going to put it right here like this. I want to glue this so it covers the back of our heart. Okay, it's going to finish our product off. Our project off, I should say. sit down you can use whatever glue you want but you know quick and easy permanent right away in results it's finished that's why I use it for the videos because I'm able to say to you we have a closure and let me show you how it works it goes around you could either put it around twice you could put it around once however you want to tie it you could tie it in a bow kind of think I want it to go around once and we'll just have to cut some off but that's okay too remember I said we, it's best to cut some off than not have enough and I'm just going to tie it like this and there we have it now here's our other one and let's get this one all put together it ties the exact same way wouldn't this be adorable for happy mail or for a tall junk journal add-on or maybe even a valentine's day card oh you guys i know this is a longer video than i usually do but i think it was well worth it because i think they're truly beautiful a beautiful way to use a large book page picture if you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.